Welcome back to the Morning Blend. Well, the book titled Shotgun Love Songs tells the story of childhood friends from a small Wisconsin town who are reunited as adults through very different voices. And here to tell us more about his novel and the inspiration behind it is author Nicholas Butler. Great to have you here. Thanks for having me. Yeah. Nice to see you. This is exciting. Tell us a little bit about the book and, and what inspired you. Yeah, well, I'm, I'm not really good at the, the sales <laughs> spiel even after a year of sort of talking <laughs> about it, but I tell people it, it's about a group of friends um, from rural Wisconsin, um, and they're all sort of hitting the same issues in their mid-30s, uh, marriage, divorce, um, money issues, getting pregnant, troubles, stuff like that. So That's cool. And yeah. how do they sort of reunite? Um, there's, uh, the novel has, I think, four weddings kind of at the, the center. So it's, And a funeral? Or uh, no? There's no <laughs> funeral. <there's no> fu <laughs> it's one of my all-time favorite movies, and Me I was too. aware that that was out there, so I, I, I couldn't kill anyone. Right. Um, no, there's a, in the opening chapter, there's a wedding, and that sort of reunites everybody. Okay. It's called Shotgun Love Songs. Yep. How does the title make its way together? Um, well, the, the title comes from one of the main characters' uh, first albums. But, um, and to me, it's sort of like th that character felt this tremendous pressure to create this album. He felt like there was a shotgun at his back. The album was full of love songs. Um, Shotgun out of the back for shotgun. getting married? Well, yeah, um, <laughs> just the pressure of like, you know, having to get some done. But, okay. you know, also the notion of shotgun weddings, calling shotgun on a car. Yeah, I like that. Just, what about the classmate, your classmate, yeah. a, a real person mm -hmm. who um, became part of a rock group, who's sort of the yeah. inspiration for this book? Yeah, um, well, one of the characters in the book is, is certainly inspired a bit by Justin Vernon, who's um, probably a most certainly Eau Claire's <laughs> most famous uh, <laughs> product and he was a year behind me in school and just a really good guy and when he you know broke through and had his big success it was what super inspirational. He, um, he uh, founded the band Bon Iver but yeah. he's got all kinds of crazy wonderful side projects. Was he a friend so. of yours? Um, I wouldn't really necessarily say that. We went to school together. Um, we were acquaintances and student council and stuff like that but the most important thing to me was his success and the fact that he came back to Eau Claire even though he had the ability to move anywhere he wanted to in the world. He wanted to come home. So That's cool. Do you think, you know, writing a book with Wisconsin roots that the, the people who love this kind of book are those from Wisconsin or that people from around like an inside view into that rural lifestyle? Uh, the book is a bestseller in France. It's doing great really? in Spain and Italy. Um, yeah, we sold the I mean, it's sold in like nine or ten different foreign countries. So, what have you heard about? Have just, you heard from readers and and why they yeah. say they love it so much? I don't know. I mean, I think if you if you have close friends, even if you don't have close friends, and you you want to look into like what those sort of relationships are like, the book appeals to you. I mean, I think it it deals with kindness and decency and love, and those are you know hopefully sort of universal notions mm -hmm. yeah i don't know <laughs> <laughs> i don't know i like that um tonight you're at the shorewood public library following an, uh, an evening with with you that starts at seven uh but it's also part of this shorewood reads um a, a event that's going on and you're the featured author for yeah. it yeah yeah it's been totally overwhelming the the whole community of shorewood it appears is excited about my book. They're reading my book. They're doing uh, book discussions. They've produced like special artwork. Um, there's there's kids in the high school that are, are you know doing like concerts and, and sort of musical projects related to the book. Um, and I've just been getting updates for like a month, Aww. and it's been it's been overwhelming. I'm gonna have to be kind of careful tonight to keep my emotions in check because it's, it's pretty pretty special. You feel good about it, the way the community supported your book and how they yeah. kind of rallied around it. Yeah, well the thing is there's so many amazing books that come out every year and people just don't find them. So when somebody finds your book and, and really feels strongly about it, it's a, a huge blessing, you know. Did they yeah. tell you how they found your book? I don't know if I ever got that exactly. You have to um, find that out. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, you need to know that. What's the coolest thing anybody's ever said, uh, specifically about this book to you, about reading uh, it? Um, people tell me 
I, I'm again, I'm really blessed. People tell me wonderful things all the time. And mm -hmm. if they hate my book, they don't tell me that. So <laughs> that's, that's the other thing. But, Another blessing. Um, I had a gentleman come up to me after a reading and he'd recently um, lost his dog and he said that my book had helped him sort of get through the weeks after that. And I guess I was sort of reminded of that because um, everybody had a dog here today on the show. <laughs> right. <laughs> um, yeah. But uh, actually Yoda was, you know, giving me a look backstage. I think he was <laughs> curious about my beard or something. But Yoda does uh, give a lot of looks. Yeah. Yeah, he yeah. does. He seems a like a nice dog, but mm -hmm. you got to watch out for yeah. Yoda. Yeah. He's got some thoughts in that head. He's yeah. got a penetrating glance. Mm -hmm. what, what's next for you? Are you writing more? Uh, my next book comes out May 5th. It's a collection of short stories. It's called Beneath the Bonfire. And uh, I'm always busy. I'm working on poems and short stories, working on the next novel. So... Good for you. It's exciting. Yeah. That's yeah. fantastic. We're going to give information right now so that people can come and check you out. It's a wonderful thing that Shorewood is doing with the, the this um, Shorewood Reads program. It's awesome. And tonight the book signing is at 7 o'clock. It's at the Shorewood Public Library. People can find out more about Shotgun Love Songs and Nicholas Butler by visiting your website. It's nicholasbutler.com. And it was a pleasure for us to meet you. Um, it's a free event, too, we want to mention, and open to community members. Thank you so much. Thanks, Thanks for having to meet me. You. Keep Appreciate up the good work. Come it. back Absolutely. again I after like your that. next book. Your short like stories. That. Right on. Yeah.